Hello everybody, A.L. Levy here with URM Academy, Nail the Mix, and I'm going to unbox Gone with the Wind by Architects, which was originally mixed by the one and only Henrik Oud on June 2017's Nail the Mix. Now, this is a very sad song, I just gotta say, because it was written by the guitarist Tom Searle, who... Uh, has since passed away, and it's about his struggle with cancer. So it's actually a pretty heavy song, both musically and thematically. Let's get into it. So got all the tracks here. And as you can see, no plugins, just some basic leveling. And I'll let you hear what it sounds like right off the bat. It's a great chorus. So let's just take a look at what we've got. Looks like natural drums that have already been cut. Uh, two bass drum mics, um, snare top and bottom, three toms, overhead china ride, two splashes, and a bell. I guess no rooms. Uh, two different bass DI sounds, four rhythm guitars, and with DIs included, an effects channel for guitar, uh, some leads, DI is included right here. Ambience guitars. And I remember from this session, it's very interesting that a lot of the stuff that sounds like synth um, is actually guitar. They're very, very good guitar arrangements. This is something that I enjoy very much. And a decent amount of vocal tracks. And the electronic kit. So let's get started with the natural drums. Just right off the bat, I'm going to let it be known that this is an awesome band. Oh, one of the, those bands who can actually play the stuff that you're hearing. Those drums just sound cool. Tight, punchy, really well played. I'm just going to turn the volume up a little for this. This drummer just has so much forward momentum to his playing. I love it. Um, even if it's very patterned and to the grid, it just carries forward in such a good way. It just drives. And you can tell that with a performance this clean, you really don't need to go nuts with samples at all. You could just work with these drums the way they are. They performed great, and they sound great. Let's listen a little further. I could just listen to well-played drums without anything else. All right, unboxing over. Just kidding. Let's listen to some of the individual kick tracks and drum tracks. Yep. So solid. Love it. And, I mean, that's what it needs to be if you're going to play this kind of music and uh, keep it somewhat real. It's got to be this solid. It's a snare. I 
I like that snare sound, especially when you bring the overheads in. It really, really colors it nicely. Like I said before, the toms are already cut for you, which is nice of Henrik. And uh, one thing that, if you get this Nail the Mix episode, you'll notice that he spends like the first hour just working on reverbs and, uh, and time-based effects, which play a huge role in this mix. And so I, I think that based on how they're, their track, their track to work in a mix like that, like very, very short, very, very punchy, and you can really take the ambience to the next level um, with reverbs and stuff. Just tight. China. So a nice sounding China. Doesn't look like there's any ride in this song. I could be wrong. There is a splash. This is just well-tracked, well-performed metal drums. The way they should be. Let's hear this bell. So sick. All right. Let's move on to bass. So we got two DIs here. And like I said before, I imagine that it's two different sounds. One being the heavier, patterny stuff, another being the more held out, chorusy stuff. So that's what I thought. And then. Maybe not. Sounds like a similar sound. By the way, that is some tight fucking bass playing. The bass really is the hidden weapon in heavy music, and you just cannot replicate when a bass player plays that hard and that tight. What it does to the guitar tone, you, you just can't get it any other way. And it's really, really funny. I think a lot of people wonder what... What is behind an awesome guitar tone in heavy music? And most of the time, it's not the guitar, it's the bass. This is a perfect example. Let's hear the bass and drums at the same time. It's just vicious. Everything you need for a great bass tone is provided for you here with this DI. All right, let's check out these guitars. Um, like I said before, uh, there are DIs, so if you don't want to use this guitar tone, you don't have to. But knowing Henrik, he, this guitar tone is the way it is for a reason. And it sounds fucking sick, so why would you use anything else? God. God, it's so mean sounding. That's also a lot to do with the player, obviously. Um, you know, it's neither one thing nor the other, but the right engineer with the right player, with the right guitar, with the right sound, with the right riff just produces quite the result. <laughs> Let's hear that with bass, drums, and guitar. I 
Let's hear that again just because it's cool. Check out what these leads are all about. Let's hear this guitar effects lead. That's what I was talking about. Lots of these leads um, that sound like synth are actually guitars. Sounds like Strymon pedal. modulated reverb. I love that sound. Getting carried away listening to that. Great example of how if you know what you're doing with guitar effects, you don't really need other instrumentation. Let's hear that. And that really is the challenge in this song. In addition to having it sound driving and powerful and vicious and all those wonderful heavy adjectives, you got to balance it with these lush and gorgeous sounding ambience guitars. It's harder, harder to do than you may think. So as you can hear, it's there. The ambience guitars are playing over the heaviness and you can't sacrifice one for the other luckily for everyone trying to mix this it's already very well arranged and performed so it's not like you're fighting upstream it's still a challenge though See what we got vocal wise. Looks like main scream with double. Yeah, for the screams. Sometimes I guess a triple for left and right. Let's hear that. The light of my world is resting up in eyes when the stuff is bright. Well, Now, obviously, the vocals are a little loud now, but they sound great and they're perfectly tight. Exactly what you need. What's this rev voc? So you got a lot of melodic screams and definitely a lot of emotion in this and 
it's the challenge to bring that out without fucking it up, I guess. Um, and there's also the e-kit. Which I wouldn't go too heavy-handed on. Also, super well arranged, great sounds. Except the ones inside of me. I sang this with no rap. And there you have it. This has been the unboxing of Gone with the Wind by Architects, which originally appeared in June 2017's Nail the Mix, mixed by Henrik Oud. If you want your chance to mix this and to get your hand on these multi-tracks, just click the link below. This is A.L. Levy signing off. Happy mixing.